Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you all have a good week so far. Now today's video I'm really excited about making. I've added some movies to my collection. Now it's been quite a while since I've been able to add my collection, so uh, this past month of December I was finally able to do so, and man, I'm excited to share them with you. So without further ado, we're not going to waste any more time talking about it. We're going to get right into the December 2022 movie pickups. And the first one we have is Rad, 80's cult classic. I'd always heard about this movie, but I never actually took the time to watch it. And one night I said, you know what, I'm going to check it out. And I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that I hopped on Amazon and I had to buy it. It's pretty cheap too. It was uh, 10 or $11 brand new. But yeah, Rad is awesome. It's kind of a, a BMX movie, you know, the, the the bike racing and all that. Soundtrack is awesome. Definitely got to add Rad to the collection. Check it out if you haven't done so already. Man, I do hate a stretched out shirt, man. Good Lord. Up next, we have Top Gun Maverick. I'm a huge fan of the first Top Gun and... Way back years ago when they dropped the first trailer for this, I could not wait to see it. Of course, we all know the story. It got delayed for, I think, two years. Finally came out. Man, I watched it. It was awesome. Finally had the chance to pick it up on 4K. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> I'm tired, man. It's almost noon. It's almost bedtime. But yeah, the Maverick on 4K looks amazing, especially on an OLED TV. Movie is awesome. Definitely, if you if you're a fan of Top Gun, definitely check out Maverick. is it, absolutely worth it. After that, we have the first horror movie that I've added to the collection this December: Orca, the Killer Whale. Now, I had seen bits and pieces of this on TV years and years ago. Um, I actually tried to do a Saturday Night Horror episode on this two years ago and the movie ended up, I, I never finished the movie, it, kept, it messed up and it cut off I don't know how it ends but now I'll be able to see how it ends so Orca the Killer Whale glad to have it in the collection alright up next we uh, everything else is in 4k I'm trying to upgrade the movies I have in my collection already to 4k so uh, it's a slow process, but it's getting there, and these are actually some of the upgrades I did to 4K. Matter of fact, all the rest of these are upgrades. We have the original Halloween in 4K. Now, when there's older movies like this in 4K, you kind of think it's not really going to look any better. Yeah, it, it looks a lot better. <laughs> uh, I watched it on the OLED TV last night. Holy crap, does it look better. So, uh, definitely glad to have Halloween in 4K. Up next, we have Halloween 2 in 4K. Haven't, uh, haven't looked at this one yet, but um, if, it's, if, if it's anything like the first one, it's going to look great. Halloween 2. I actually used to have this on VHS. I went to the, uh, to the mall in Raleigh, Suncoast. Yeah, I think it was called Suncoast Media. They used to sell DVDs and VHS tapes. I bought Halloween 2 on VHS. First Halloween movie I ever owned. Up next we have Halloween 3 on 4K. Had to upgrade it as well. After that we have Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers on 4K. And I actually didn't know these hollow. Is that plastic or is that, yeah. Oh, that's where I cut the case trying to get it out of the package. But yeah, I did not know until recently that these old Halloween movies were released on 4K. Um, once I saw that, I had to pick them up, man. I was finally able to do so and I had to jump on it. Up next we have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers on 4K. And Halloween 5, in my opinion, has got the worst Michael Myers mask ever. Hands down, bar none, and a discussion. 
This is the worst and goofiest mask ever. I mean, look at the cover art. <laughs> worst mask ever. But I enjoyed the movie, though. After that, we have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, this one's really cool because not only... And these are all the... Um, these are all 4K and Blu-ray combo packs, so the Blu-rays are in here as well. Not only do you get the 4K of Curse of Michael Myers, but they also put in the 4K uh, Curse of Michael Myers producer's cut, which I think is the superior version because it has a different ending, it makes sense of everything that's going on, and explains a whole lot more. But I did not, I did not expect them to have the producer's cut in 4K in there as well, so you get both movies for the price of one. And this one has a lot of, it's uh, four discs. You get the producer's cut, the theatrical cut, then you get the Blu-ray theatrical cut, and the Blu-ray producer's cut. So you get the producer's cut in 4K and Blu-ray, along with the theatrical release, so heck of a deal, man. All right, up next we have Halloween H2O. Believe it or not, this is the only Halloween I ever went to the movies to see. Halloween H2O. And I had to have one of my parents go with me because I wasn't old enough to see it by myself. I liked it, man. Um, I don't know what the majority of people's opinions is on it, but I, I really enjoyed it. This was actually The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, and our next movie were part of a three-pack, the Halloween 4K collection from 95 through 2000. Two, I believe. So these three were sold together as a pack. And the last one in that pack was Halloween Resurrection. Uh, uh, yeah, this one sucked. <laughs> but I wanted to complete the franchise and it came with the other two, so I'll take it. Uh, this one... The less said, the better, man. Uh, you have Busta Rhymes threatening Michael Myers. Yo, Mikey, come see me. <sighs> Busta Rhymes is cool and all, but he had no business fighting Michael Myers. Like, get, get the hell out of here. This feels kind of... Okay, it is in there. Uh, I was going to say, this one feels kind of light. Wait a minute, where, where's the Blu-ray? I, I think I gave it away. Okay. Up next we have Halloween. Why am I showing this? This is old. I had a brain fart, y'all. I had that one. <laughs> okay, this is the one I added. Good lord. I'm having a brain. I'm 40 years old, man. That's what happens. The last movie pickup of December 2022 was a collector's edition of Halloween ends in 4K. Um not a huge fan of this movie. I did a Saturday Night Horror episode about it. I gave my opinions on it. But, I had the previous two, as you just saw, Halloween and Halloween Kills. I don't know why I brought these down. I've had those for years. But yeah, Halloween Ends. Uh, supposedly, this was the Walmart exclusive, and yet they're selling it on Amazon for, for almost $40. So... Yeah, I thought I did a good thing using my discount to get it on, on sale at Walmart. Because uh, Walmart, it was $27 plus my discount. Amazon was selling this on pre-order for $48. Who in the blue hell is going to pay $48 for one 4K movie? That's insane, but didn't really care for this one. But I had the other two, so I wanted to complete the new trilogy. So there we go. Halloween ends. I did put this on the OLED TV last night, and man, it looks good. So that's it. Those are my movie pickups for December 2022. I've ordered one movie. It's supposed to be here Monday, so that'll be the first pickup of January. And at the end of the month, we'll do a pickup for January 2023, even if it is this one movie. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Um, Glad to have these in my collection. As you can see, it was mostly upgrading my Halloween movies to 4K. I sold all my Halloween Blu-rays on eBay. I still have one left on eBay. If I remember, I'll send, uh, put a link to the description to my eBay, bleh, 
let's let's do that again, man. If I remember, let me talk slow. I will put a link to my eBay store in the description box below. Good lord. This is what happens when you get old, folks. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of upgrade upgraded all the Halloween movies. As you can see, the Rob Zombie movies were not in the collection. They will never be in the collection. That's all I'm going to say about that, but I'm happy with the pickups for December. Looking forward to January. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's one I was excited about doing. I've been, been wanting to do it for quite a while. I'm finally able to start adding a little bit of movies to the collection every now and then. So, yeah, that is it. All right, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm rambling on, so we're going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an awesome weekend. The next time I see you will be for the weekly vlog, so uh, stay tuned for that. Y'all take care.